everybody, it's Anne. How are you? I could do the Irish accent and be really silly about this since we're doing this for St. Patty's Day, but I'm not sure it's worth it. Anyway, our little makeup group, the Dirty Half Dozen, with Anya Stamper and Valerie from Gimme Lip and More, and Danielle Gerstenberg from Glamburger, and Allison Krauss, and Leanne Soreo are doing just something green and gold and rainbowed for St. Patty's Day. And yes, I'm being very silly, and the intro is being done in black and white. Believe me, you'll get plenty of color at the other end. If you want to see what I did, stick around. Hello. Yes, I'm doing this as a voiceover because otherwise it would take a good 25 minutes to watch the whole thing. And I don't really want to make you have to sit here that long doing that. I was just using the spray... Um, Primer from Wet n Wild. I've got the Wet n Wild stick. And just doing basic starter position with foundation. And we will go from there. Now, for those of you who are Irish on St. Patty's Day, we don't exactly celebrate the way the Irish actually do. I mean, this is a religious holiday for them and a religious observance and some of the ones that are like very, very religious get real into being proper churchgoers and taking care of saluting the saint and all that stuff. And the rest of us around the world who either claim Irish ancestry or just claim it for the day have a tendency to use it as an excuse for a lot of foolishness. This is just a basic regular color eye pencil. I was using a dark green in my eyebrows. I did powder the foundation just a little bit with wet and wild powder. Anyway, here in America we tend to have big parades and lots of green beer and pretty much just all kinds of silliness and kiss me I'm Irish and Aaron go bra banners and that just means Ireland forever. That kind of thing. So, you know, for most of us outside of Ireland, it's the drunken revel that we're all about. And not so much the observance of the saint. Anyway, so far I've put the green pencil in my eyebrows and I've got some gold pencil over the eyebrows. And I'm laying down a layer of powder shadow just to intensify the colors a little bit. And yes, I ha have my, my Irish antennae on. And there's the white AOA concealer that I use as one of my favorite bases, especially if I'm trying to do something that I want the colors to be fairly bright on. Got a little brush to smear it around some. Now, even though this dries down pretty quick, when you're laying creams over it, and like, you know, the pencils are technically a bit of a cream. It's, you know, a little wax, a little cream, a little color. I kept going back and darkening those eyebrows because you couldn't really see the green originally because I'd used kind of a mint green and went back with a much darker green. And I just kept using, I have a set of like 12 colors 
in just basic sharpen with a sharpener um, wooden pencils in the um, kind of like the wet and wild wooden pencils but this is a brand called Emori E O E O R O M I I think or some it E M O R I maybe I don't know I'm not looking at them right this minute anyway they're just they were cheap you know me they were cheap but they work fairly well I mean you know I probably paid about 99 cents a pencil like I do for wet and wild I don't know if you're going to be able to hear that. That's my doggies out in the yard. And I just kept laying down the next color in the rainbow across my eyes using the pencils and then, you know, brightening it up, setting it down a little bit using shadows. And I didn't... The pink was because I've got a hot pink pencil and I completely forgot about the red lipstick pencil that I've got. So, yeah, it's a little pinkier than I would have liked. But, there you go. And then I put a little of the red pencil over it. I'm going to put a little bit of a red shadow down. So, we've got some color contrast so you can actually see what's going on. think it looked too bad that was just kind of fooling around but I don't think it looked too bad I think that headband looks ridiculous but you know we're talking about America where they pour green food coloring in the beer okay okay Da, da, da. I'm just putting some white down on the mobile lid so that it's kind of like a cloud color and a little gold sparkle at the base of the eyelashes no big nothing big nothing big now I'm going to do a little bit of this is not classy artwork, guys. This is just a little bit of fiddling around with some colored pencils. Put my little shamrock over on this side. Do the outline with the colored pencil first. Get it kind of filled in a little bit. Get my shape down, kind of. And then I'm going to take a liquid black eyeliner. And yes, I'm using liquid with a little tiny brush to do the details around the edges because that little tiny brush is the finest liner that I've got. So it's like, you know, a little detail here and there so that it actually looks like something besides a green blob. Kind of darken up the stem just a tad. Yep, that works. Yes, we can tell. I'm just so happy with me. Now, me, I actually do have a little bit of Irish ancestry. The last name of the, the last name in the family is Lowry. So, yeah, I've got a few relations in Ireland somewhere. My granddad was big at looking at them, looking them up and such, but most of his paperwork got lost along the way. Little gold glitter and an outline and a little bit of color in the outline and you now have a pot of gold at the other end of the rainbow. Yep, yep. At that point I had decided that it looked good enough. Time to get some more sparkle. The 
highlighter that I'm using instead of a blush has a it's a green with a gold shift. Now, when you look at it in the pan, it looks mo more green than anything. And as soon as you put it on your face, you get that gold with the green shift. Yeah, I'm darkening up some of those colors again. I want the, the, the purple seems to just get lost. But then again, it's one of the ones closest to that crease. Going back and fiddling and fiddling. Da, 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 da. Fiddle, 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 fiddle. Yep. Get the eyebrows too. I was going to just leave the eyebrows with the pencil, but, you know... They were still just looking kind of dark, so I said, what the heck, let me just hit these up. With a little bit of the powder. Now, I've got another um, highlighter that I'm playing with. This one is just dusty gold. And I am going ham with the dusty gold down my nose and across the forehead a bit. And... I've heard it said that the the sunlight in Ireland is a bit of a gold shimmery pearly color, color especially right after rain. Lolly shush. So I used a shimmery gold dusty kind of highlighter between my between my eyes along the the eyebrows and the forehead and down the nose to kind of give the illusion that you know I had some sunlight in my face I mean after all how else did the rainbows get there yeah yeah I know I drew them there we know this anyway I've got green eye pencil and a greenish gloss on the lower lip and the gold eye pencil and a gold lipstick slightly metallic on the upper lip and my little scarf i hope you enjoyed this little bit of saint patty's day foolishness if you like what you saw please leave me a thumbs up if you want to know more about the stuff i do just subscribe and ring the little bell and you'll get to see more of this well, possibly even some regular looks to go to work in. Anyway, wherever you are, day or night, whenever you watch this, be good.